man won't take no for an answer. <laughs> and the girls of these days, well, Kinshe Fari, they don't know how to do small shakara before saying yes to a man. <laughs> You spend oh. too much time on the computer. Will it marry you? I have a boyfriend. Then bring him home and let me see him. Or else, I'll put an ad in the newspaper that reads, Daughter for Hire. I won an online web scripting competition and this is my prize. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Now you see what I'm saying. Hmm? <laughs> what? If you, would, if you would spend as much effort in finding a husband as you do in computer programming. Eh? Oh, whoa. Hold on. Let me show you something. <laughs> Hold on, sit down. Sit. <laughs> this is Dio. Dio. He's my former colleague's son. Okay. And he's a medical doctor. Okay. And he's in search of a wife. <laughs> <laughs> and this is... Oh, remember my friend? Yes. This is her son. Oh. He's a chartered accountant. And he's also in need of a wife. <laughs> And this is Ola today. <laughs> yes, Tunde. <laughs> In fact, mm. with all of you searching for each other, how are you sure you have not missed out on your chosen one, eh? When your nose is always buried in your work. Mom, I would bring my boyfriend home. You say that all the time. <sighs> I hope you don't think I'm putting you under pressure. It's just that with my retirement, I need, I need to, I met someone. Go on. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Slicky Larry. And we are beginning to like each other a lot. Kilonche, you haven't met this person and you're already liking him. Mommy. Hey. Is this what they call social media love? How well do you know him? How would you get to know someone if you don't let them come close? You can never be too careful. Okay. The bots will be designed to crawl around hosted web pages, inspecting contents. Then, when it detects suspicious hyperlinks, it blocks it. When it detects censored word and phrase, it blocks it. When it detects... Yami Williams, is, isn't that exactly what a spam bot does? I thought it was just me. Most anti-spam bots are designed to do exactly what you're talking about. So what exactly are you proposing? Um, I suggest when they come up with ideas, you find out what current development is available for that idea. We're wasting our time. Okay. Let me just come back again when you have a better proposal. Are you sure you don't need help with this?
How was it? Mommy. It was rejected. Mm. I don't know what else to come up with, Mom. I will never be good enough. I have presented everything. <sighs> I need an idea. <laughs> what you need is a husband. Really? Yes. Mommy, I don't have energy for all this your talk. Uh-uh. Hey, Joe. Uh-uh. Mommy. I'll be back soon. I'm going out to see a friend. This friend of yours had better come back home with you. <laughs> Who is it anyway? Um, mommy, no one you should worry yourself about, okay? I'll be back soon. Don't miss me too much. Hmm. <laughs> All right, bye, mom. <laughs> Tell him it's urgent. 
have some more water. <sighs> Mommy, I'm okay. So Kavi said you should take them when you wake up. Okay, where is he? He left while you were sleeping, but he'll be back tomorrow. <sighs> How are you feeling now? No, you haven't told me what happened yet. It was the guy I told you I met online. Slicky Larry. You went to him? <sighs> oh, King Paul, I told you now. I told you to be careful. All these things you young people do online. Koyemi. Koyemi, oh. <sighs> he tried. <sighs> he tried. He tried to. But I screamed, oh. and people came around, so he fled. They told me he is a notorious robber in the area of Cairo. Oh. Mommy, I was lucky. Oh. Mommy, I was lucky. I knew I wouldn't let you go. Carol, if you had informed me, eh? if only your dad were still alive. Tell me, you know I've always insisted that you conduct due diligence. What now? Did I give you... Did I give you too many... Too many pills? <laughs> Due diligence. Mom, that's the answer. To mention but a few. Also, we have had cases of victims who were lured into trap by people they met on social media and on dating sites. How can this be copped? How can safety on the internet be ensured? I present to you Due Negligence, a web application for performing due diligence on the internet. It will have a database access to flag down addresses, emails, phone numbers that security agencies have marked, and also those with criminal record activities. It will incorporate a safe zone segment with Google links. And with this, we can help in reducing the number of internet scams in Nigeria and also to ensure safety on the internet. Nice. So uh, how feasible is this? I did a little test run with a better version of due negligence, and I was able to locate a notorious internet scammer. 
I followed the trail which he left on the internet, and right now, as we speak, he is in police custody. Why? Do negligence. Oh, yeah, it's a word I can from the words due diligence and the word internet. Okay. Um, do, do you want to tell us about the bandage on your arm? Oh. Slicky Larry. He cost us. It is my way of payback. I, I like the sound of payback. Um, so together, we can reduce the activities of internet scammers like him. Hello. Hello. How's the arm? Fine. Come in. <laughs> 